Let's take a look at how to divide fractions with mixed numbers up to 20. Divide, simplify your answer, and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna rewrite the second fraction, one and two thirds, as an improper fraction instead of a mixed number. So to do this, well one, the whole thing can be written as any number over itself. If I want to combine it with two-thirds, I can think of that one as being three-thirds, and then I have another two-thirds to put with that. So altogether, three-thirds plus two-thirds would give me five-thirds. Okay, and a really quick way you could do this too is you can say one times three is three plus the top, 3 plus 2 is 5 over 3. But if it's easier to write it out this way, of course, that only takes you a second. So my first fraction was 3 fifths, and I want to divide that by, and we just figured out that 1 and 2 thirds is the same exact thing as 5 thirds. Now from here, you have to remember that your rule when you're dividing a fraction divided by a fraction is to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so when you're multiplying by the reciprocal, the first fraction stays the same. I'm gonna keep that as three over five. My division sign is gonna to switch to multiplication. And then since I switched the sign, I have to flip my second fraction, right? That's the reciprocal. The reciprocal of five over three is three over five. It just means the bottom becomes the top and the top becomes the bottom. And now I have a fraction multiplication problem. When you're multiplying two fractions together, you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Okay, so on the top or the numerator, three times three gives me nine. And in the bottom or the denominator, five times five gives me 25. Now, if I could simplify this or reduce it, I would, but there's no numbers besides one that go into both nine and 25. So I'm gonna leave it like this. It's now a proper fraction because the top number is smaller than the bottom number. So nine over 25. Okay, this time we wanna divide two thirds divided by one and one fourth. Okay, well, just like we did last time, remember we said one, I could write that as any number over itself. So since the denominator is four, let's think of that as four over four. And then I also have another one fourth. So if I put that together, four over four plus one over four, it's five over four. So again, another way to write one and a quarter is five over four. Now the really quick shortcut is to say one times four is four, plus the top number is five, over whatever the original denominator four was. But again, whatever is easier for you, you can simply do that this way too. Okay, so if five over four is the same thing as one and a quarter, we're basically saying two thirds divided by five over four. Now, just like we did in the last problem, anytime you're dividing with fractions, you wanna multiply by the reciprocal. And that doesn't change your first fraction. The first fraction is gonna stay two over three, but it changes the division sign to a multiplication sign. And then we take the reciprocal of the second fraction, simply meaning we flip it. So five over four is gonna become four over five. And then from here, now we're multiplying with fractions. We multiply straight across the numerator or top and we multiply straight across the denominator or the bottom. Okay, so on the top, two times four gives me eight, and in the bottom, three times five is 15. Okay, and I don't think I can reduce this because the, uh, two and four go into eight, but they don't go into 15, right? Three and five go into 15, they don't go into eight. So let's leave that as eight over 15. Okay, now this time I have to 
proper fractions are ready, so there's no need to convert. So I'm simply going to say multiply by the reciprocal right from the start, right? Multiply by the reciprocal. I'm abbreviating here a little bit. Okay, so multiply, right? So I'm changing my division to multiplication. And the reciprocal of that second fraction is what I get when I flip it. So if I flip 2 over 5, I'm going to get 5 over 2. And now I'm going to multiply straight across. So in the numerator or the top, 1 times 5 is 5. And in the denominator or the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, now this time notice my answer gave me an improper fraction. Okay, an improper fraction is any time the top of the fraction is bigger than the bottom. So they said I had to write it as a proper fraction or a whole or mixed number. So I can change this into a mixed number, right? Four goes into five one whole time, so my whole number is one. And of course, four times one is only four, so that leaves me one left over out of the four. So five fourths is the same as saying one and one fourth. Okay, this time we have two thirds divided by one third. Okay, well just like before, we wanna multiply by the reciprocal. All right, so I'm gonna take that two thirds. I'm changing my division to a multiplication sign. And then I'm gonna do the reciprocal of that second fraction. It was one over three, so I'm gonna make it three over one. Okay, now from here, you can multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Now, if you notice that you have a factor of three on the top and the bottom, well, multiply and divide by three cancel out so that would simply be 2 over 1, and 2 divided by 1 gives me 2. Now, if you didn't notice that, it would be no big deal. If you had multiplied, you would have said 2 times 3 is 6. On the bottom, 3 times 1 is 3. And you would still get the exact same answer, right? 6 divided by 3 would still give you 2. So these are just two different ways to do the same exact problem. Okay, either way, we get a whole number answer of 2. One half divided by one and one third. Okay, so again, when you have that mixed number, you wanna turn it into an improper fraction to do the division or the multiply by the reciprocal part. Okay, so one I can write as three over three. So I know it's gonna be three over three and then another one over three. So one and one third is the same thing as four over three. So I'm thinking one half divided by four thirds. And of course, when you have fraction division, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So that means we're gonna change it to one half times three fourths, right? Division becomes multiplication and the reciprocal is flipping that second fraction. All right, and now I'm gonna multiply straight across. In the numerator or the top, one times three gives me three. And in the denominator or the bottom, 2 times 4 gives me 8. So I wind up with 3 over 8, and I can't simplify that, so I'm going to leave it as 3 eighths. 